Day four of quarantine. I ventured into a land called Bedroom. In that land, there's a huge square cloud that takes up most of the land. I find myself stuck there. Who knows when I'll be back. Hey everybody, this is day four of quarantine. Um, today has been a very lazy day. It's like three or four p.m. right now that I'm filming this. And I just haven't been in the mood to do anything. Like, I figured, you know, I would shower, I wanted to blog, and I was like, okay, we can make some new videos. And then I was like, I wanna go on a walk and just kinda, just like, walk around and just like, stretch my legs, because I feel like I haven't been up and moving around or just kinda been like, a couch potato almost. Um, but like, I have been busy, but not like, physical busy, I guess. So I wanna move my body right now. I want to go on a walk, film, and just kinda enjoy the sun while it's still out. Um, yeah, just kinda get out of the house, just not get depressed. Um, yeah, this is day four, quarantine. Um, not much to report at all, so, but guess what? I'll keep you updated. Um, we're gonna go on a walk and film and go from there. So here we go. Squeaky, squeaky, squeak. Squeaky, 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 squeak. Squeak it, squeak it. Uh, squeak it. Are you really talking to a squirrel? Junior chickmunk. Uh, squeaking. Squeaking, squeaking. So this yellow building right behind me used to be the old Greyhound station here in Eugene, Oregon. I used to work there uh, back in 2017, uh, uh, through 2018. My last manager there tried to screw me over and falsely fire me. But that's a whole nother video for another time, but it's just, I thought this building was a really cool historical building and if I ever had the money I would buy it and restore it and make it like a downtown mansion almost put like a couple new floors on there and everything um, the only thing is with downtown Eugene is there's a lot of homeless people here and a lot of uh, street walkers who graffiti and kind of destroy property so it wouldn't be the best location for a house but the property value is there so but yeah just Real quick history. I used to work there in that old abandoned scary building and there was so much tea, so many stories of that. Um, in that building, like hookups, you know, I almost, uh, someone tried to attack me, uh, bus delays, working overtime. Um, I got so many stories of working at the Greyhound station and so yeah, but otherwise, it's a cool building, cool location, and so yeah, very cool. Anna, Elsa, Sven, Samantha. <laughs> I don't even know it's Samantha. Achoo! What was that? Coronavirus. Growing up means adapting to whatever situation's going on. I don't understand why everyone's afraid of the coronavirus. When I'm more mature, I will be completely by something with a creepy, creepy f See, everything will make sense when I'm old. Why we're all locked up in our homes. In a couple of years, this will make totally perfect sense. Growing up, this all will make sense when I'm older. When you're older, nothing ever makes any sense. This is fine.
Okay, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the motherfucker in the house bored and I'm bored in the motherfucker in the house bored. Bored in the house, bored in the house bored. Bored in the house, bored in the house bored. I'm bored in the motherfucker in the house bored. Coronavirus! It's real! <laughs> Coronavirus! It's real! <laughs> ah, how shall I do it? Oh, I know. I'll turn him into a flea. A harmless little flea. And then I'll put that flea in a box. And then I'll put that box inside of another box. And then I'll mail that box to myself. And when it arrives, <laughs> I'll smash it with a hammer! It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant! I tell you, genius! I tell you. Good morning, everybody. So, I just read right now our Governor Brown of Oregon just declared that we need to stay indoors. Basically, it's official now. Bitch, it's getting serious. Bitch, it's getting real. So, this morning, I haven't done anything anything except for lie in bed, play on my phone. I practiced playing GTA online a little bit when they didn't practice, but I tried to get some footage for an upcoming video, but that didn't really work, so I'm going to keep practicing and working on that today. Um, yeah, so I don't know what today's going to lead us. I guess just doing more crazy stuff around the house. I'll keep you posted. Doing more crazy stuff around the house. I'll keep you posted. Come back. If you're trying to survive the coronavirus, we have special items for you listed today for special deals. Our first item is Lysol spray. It kills any germs or bacteria for only three payments of $29.99. Or you could buy in bulk for a cost of my rent of $1,100. But that's not all. We still have these generic sprays too that will also kill germs for only 10 payments of $100.99. These deals are going by so fast you need to order now. This item has been selling off the shelves like crazy. You can get three toilet papers for $1,100. But wait, we'll even throw in the original wrapping for an additional $50. Order today! If you order right now, we'll throw in this additional half-used roll of paper towels so you can write down any counter space. Call now! Go on. Good boy. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is day six of my quarantine, and yeah. So um, yesterday I didn't really do anything. I half the day I stayed home. I made a one video, a funny video of, of my of me selling products, but. That was only the only motivation I had, because it was just a quick, like, one minute video, so it didn't take that long to film. Um, the, so yesterday, so the day before that, um, I showed you guys where I worked at at Greyhound, and I lost my job, and I was unemployed after losing that job. I was unemployed for a year, almost the whole year of 2019, and, uh, that was a really interesting time because I wasn't working, but I was also job searching. I was, you know, trying to figure out how to pay rent. Thank you to my dad for helping me out for so many months. But it was just like, it was just a weird time being unemployed and looking for a job. Now that we're in quarantine and my job is closed down, I don't know how to feel. It's just like, I don't have to look for work because I'm guaranteed my job, I'll get my job back when they reopen their doors. Um, so I don't feel like I need to search for a job. 
nothing's open to like movie theaters are closed malls are closed shopping centers are closed everything's closed except for grocery stores three i have no money to be buying at the grocery store my neighbors uh, that's another thing but um so yeah, it's like, like right now, I don't feel like there's anything I should be doing, but it's also weird because like I'm stuck at home doing nothing, well, not not really nothing, but it's just like because I'm filming and I'm filming for you guys, but it's just it's just so weird like not waking up at nine a.m. and going to work. It's so weird not like spending five and a half hours at my job working to pay my rent. I'm not sure if I'm paying rent on the first because I'm not sure if I'll have enough money for it. But I did talk to my landlord and he's gonna get back to me because um, I rent through a property management company and someone does own the house that I live in, but they use a uh, property management company to, to handle the finances. So I'm waiting to hear back to see if they're going to do anything special to where, like, are they going to postpone rent? Are they not going to charge us rent? Or when we do have money, just start paying rent then? I, I don't know what to expect. Um, that is a little stressful thing because it's just like, if they're still expecting rent on the first, I'm not going to have it. My roommate's not going to have it. We're both, both of what plane is flying that low? Do you hear that? Jesus. Sounds like an airstrike. Martial law, I'm telling you. That ain't normal. That plane or a helicopter or whatever aircraft it is was too low to the ground to be making all that noise. So anyways, um, yeah, like me, both me and my roommate, Colin, are both job, or not jobless, but not working. Luckily, Colin is working, he has another, he works two jobs, and his other job is at Albertsons, it's a grocery store, and he goes there at night to um, stock the shelves. But other than that, it's just like, we are not working, we're not we don't know when we're going to have money again to buy food, to buy utensils, you know, or, or to pay our rent. Like, yeah, I know my company is giving me two weeks of pay, but that's it. You know, that may cover my rent for the, for my portion of the rent on the first. But other than that, you know, it's just like, are they going to continue to pay me? After that, or are they gonna? Will I have to file for unemployment? I don't know. Um, also, um, also, I start just started back up on my depression medicine, and especially in a time like this when you do have depression and you do have to be like to yourself for a long period of time. I get depressed where I'm like, if I am if I choose to put myself in a corner, I get most depressed. But being in quarantine, that's enforcing me to like be in a corner and like just be on my phone or do my own thing and not really do anything. So I figured we should get back on my depression medicine so that way I'm not depressed and still motivated to film and do stuff for you guys. And, um, also, it's just one of those things where it's just like, I wish there was more to do. I really wish that, um, I mean, things, I really wish that we did testing a month ago or two months ago that everyone was, got tested and then whoever got tested positive, um, We've been in quarantine and when we got help for that, and then the people who got tested negative, you know, be cautious, but you can still live your lives, you know. This is forcing everybody to, like, 
be indoors or be shut in and it's just like why you know it's just I'm over it I really am I want this to be done I I'm dry I'm going crazy I'm going crazy people so that's my story Hopefully, this will get better. Hopefully, after the two weeks, my jobs will open the doors again. And hopefully, people will start going back out in two weeks. And, yeah, this is day number six. So, I guess we're almost halfway there. Tomorrow will be the halfway point. So, hopefully... We'll have good news coming forward. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I don't know what today's going to bring. Hopefully I'll get motivated to do something. I'm not sure how much blogging I will do. But whatever I do decide to post on social media, whatever I do decide to um, create will be in this blog video. So, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying these blogs. Let me know down in the comments. Um, this is the first time of me blogging for a period of time. So it's one of those things where it's just like, let me know if you're enjoying this blog. Let me know if, um, if it's not entertaining. Let me know if I can improve here or there. I understand I'm not the best, you know, I don't, speak the best English in the world. I know I don't I, there's I know there's certain things that I do that isn't correct or isn't pronounced correct or whatever. It's I'm always consistently working on that to be perfect for you guys. And not everybody's perfect. So yeah. Let me know how your day is going in the comments. If you're having a good day, if you're having a bad day, let me know. You know, and I will respond to you. I'll give you a heart and even I'll put down a comment or a reply back. I mean, I, don't be scared to talk to me. I'm here for you guys. You know, we're all in this together. So, yeah, please enjoy this blog or my blogs <laughs> and know that I love you guys. And hopefully I'll make some good content today to continue blogging for you. So see you guys soon. As the sun set sets on the sixth day of quarantine, all we can do is watch. at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head.
I don't have a sugar daddy. I've never had a sugar daddy. If I wanted a sugar daddy, yes, I probably could go out and get one because I am what? Sickening. You could never have a sugar daddy because you are not that kind of girl. Baby, everything I've had, I've worked for and I've gotten myself. I built myself from the ground up. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's day number seven of quarantine for me. As you see, I'm in my car and um, I'm at Walmart and um, I'm running a few errands for my mother right now. She, it's better for me to do it than her because I don't want my mom's at a higher risk of catching the coronavirus. But um, I just want to say one quick message and that says whenever you go out to a convenience store or grocery store, or gas station or whatever is open right now, please thank the employees there for working, for staying open, for their hard work. Because for someone who's working retail, we're at higher risk for catching the coronavirus than anybody else because we're dealing with the public. And for all those Karens out there who want to complain about, you know, they don't have this or you're buying too much product and then the other person has to complain about it. Just just take a minute to say, hey, thank you. Tell your manager to say thank you to everyone for staying open, for 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 doing your job. And it's just one of those things where it's just like... If, if the grocery stores weren't open or if the gas stations were open, if we were on complete lockdown, imagine how we would react, you know, chaotic. So the next time you go into the grocery store, just say thank you. Thank you so much. And you should say that to anybody wherever you go. And even if things start back to get back reopen you know retail starts opening back up here soon tell them thank you for working thank you for letting me come into your store and shop around thank you for your service you know I like before my job closed I didn't realize how much people were stuck up and just so high and mighty and think like they should automatically like you know Think that they're better than us you know when did a retail job a groceries job or any type of job that's quote called minimum wage became looked down upon you know you better be lucky i'm here working you know this is just my part-time job before you know i make it so best believe so the say tell them thank you oh so Today I haven't done much. I slept in till like 1 p.m. and that's pretty much it really. Um, I'm about to take this stuff back to my mom's house, probably grab some lunch slash dinner, and then who knows, I might do some more filming tonight. I had really fun last night filming. Um, I started got back into the filming mode again. So hopefully those juices will keep running and I can keep making cool little fun entertainment videos for you. And just let me know that in down in the comments how I'm doing or or what could I approve on? What like what would you like to see more of? Just I want to hear back from you guys. Also make sure you're clicking that subscribe button. So yeah, click that subscribe button. It's free. Uh -huh. 
So let's get going. Let's go get some food, head back to mom's house and continue filming. Okay. Mwah. My heart went yeah. My heart just got stuck between these loops My mind got stuck in between these groups Hey everybody, so this is day 11 for me for quarantine The last three days I haven't been in the mood to film I just been binge watching Scandal um, I kind of I have all the seasons on DVD, so I kind of started from season one and just kind of worked my way, kind of working on my way. I'm on season three right now. Um, but anyways, hi, how are you? It's been interesting, still in the house. Nothing hasn't changed. The only per people I've seen is my roommate and my mother because I take stuff to my mom's house and we watch RuPaul together. But, um... You know, I haven't been in the mood to work. I haven't been in the mood to film. And that, and as a creator, you're welcome to take a couple of days off. And it just seems like I've been working a lot the first week of quarantine because I was like trying to get a film out and also been blogging too. So now it's recycle. I need to start filming again for my next video for Friday and then try to get that posted for you guys. And then I'm also doing part two well just so this little segment right here will be the end of part two and then uh, maybe tonight and tomorrow will be starting a part three of quarantine so yeah that's that um, i'm hoping that you guys are liking these video blogs um i enjoy it it's a little fun activity i guess um I'm being safe i'm washing my hands i'm staying indoors i've been getting food out but that's the only time that um, I left the house is to get food, really. So, yeah. But other than that, it's just stay home, entertain yourself. So, I want, it's kind of funny, like I was trying to freshen up to film this. And like I had a different facial, like facial hair um style that i wanted to do so i completely messed up but i'm making the best of it so yeah but um so this will include uh so this will end part two of quarantine for me i'm gonna start and then we're gonna continue on on part three so make sure you're watching all the parts in order and um yeah that's that so I'm going to wrap up part two for you. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're clicking that like button as well. Make sure you're sharing with your friends. Lay down any comments you want. Like any feedback would be nice. And just know I love you guys. Mwah.